Greetings everyone, welcome to Masterplan Tycoon by Bureau Braven, a new logistics and building game where you build complex logistic networks while enjoying chill music in minimalistic visual style and non-punishing gameplay. This is a sponsored video and I'd like to show you gameplay of the first steps to this game. It starts out small but gets complex quickly, opening up new game mechanics as you progress. Research, expeditions, specialized camps, you got it all. It has been released on March 9th and is also available as a demo. If you're interested, you can find a link to the game in the video description and comment section. But without further ado, let's get cracking. Alrighty, and here we are now in the game in the very beginning with Masterplan Tycoon. Uh, as we can see here, um, our main node kind of like, and there's also a well producing water right away. So actually the, the, the map tells you more than we can see at first glance. For example, we do have, for example, some forests up here in the color of a green. Um, we do have over here one storage, and then we get a few more missions down the road as well that we need to unlock for new uh, objectives. Right now we have one objective, and and that is we need to build a lumber camp and input the pin of the sawmill to start uh, transferring resources. So we have a storage here, a general storage here. There's some planks and some stone in it, but that's it. And we can now start with building our first productions and that would be the lumber camp and the sawmill. And as we can see, this one here needs then a forest. So we can have this one over here, for example. And then a lumber camp is doing the rest. So let's actually start with it. Let's have the lumber camp close to my forest. And as we can see, a lumber camp is being built now, and then a sawmill not too far away, probably a bit closer to the storage then, where we can also build this. This actually consumes some resources that we already had, so the 10 planks are going down to 6 now. And as we can see, the lumber camp is now thawking <laughs> and getting rid of the, the trees. And that produces me some lumber. From time to time there's also a drop of water coming from my main hub over here where there's a well because we do have water here obviously and in that case that goes to the storage we might need that water at some point all right sawmill has been finished as well now we need to connect them for a proper production so there is a node here and we can kind of like drag this node now over here to the sawmill tree to tree and plank to storage which is not uh, really that easy, so we can move the sawmill a bit. There you go. Be able to do this. Uh, or we have it to do it like that. We will need to move it a bit further over there to get this production going. And as we can see, now we're producing it. And the cool thing is we can always move these nodes around, right? As I just did with the sawmill. And we can always just make it a bit more efficient down the road. Next up, we need some stone because we are consuming that already. Let's build a quarry next to the stones. Down here, we have some stone. Go ahead. Well, this is the quarry. Yeah, the game actually tells me also a perfect location for it. Let's go ahead and do this. And the sawmill is now producing planks, and those planks are getting over to my storage. A bit later, the quarry has been finished. Once again, let's create a node all the way to my storage. Our settlers need food. Without it, many buildings will not function. So let's get some fish. And for that, we'll need the water down here and a fishery. This actually cost me two planks once more, bring us down to four planks. But we should actually soon get planks in from my sawmill. Let's build the fishery. Yeah, and as we can see, it's getting a bit busy now. <laughs> There's lots of things coming into the storage. Lots of goods. And the fishery is just the latest. Yeah, looking a bit more complicated now. Let's get the fishery over to a better location. Because we also need a well. Uh, we need more water. We can't let our settlers suffer from thirst. Let's build a well next to the water. Over here. And a bit later, the well is coming along. And let's also make the connection with the storage. Holy cow, there's lots of things coming in now. 
Before we move on, let's get a small supply of fish and water. Our settlers love to eat and in order not to wait so long, you can try to increase the speed of the game. Alright, let's do this and let's wait for some fish and water to plop into my storage. Yeah, lots of things coming in. Planks, stone, there's also the tenth fish and with that we have finished that. Let's slow down a bit again. Next up we need to diversify the diet of our settlers. Let's build a farm so that we can start producing bread. Over here we would have lots of land as we can see. Flat land that we can use for some proper first production here for a farm. We do have certain tiers as well, right? So we are tier 0 that we've built so far. That's really the basic stuff that you can have. And now we've unlocked tier 1. And in tier 1, as we can see, I yeah, think it's getting a bit more complicated here with a production chains, a, a few more of them. Let's build a farm first and then we can see we do need a well and a mill and then the bakery. The farm is coming along. We do have the well down here with the water, but I think we don't need to connect the well then directly with the mill, but rather the storage with the mill, right? Because in the storage we have water. We'll just see how that turns out. There is the farm. And we're starting now to produce some grain out of that. Now we need to uh, build a... We also need a well and a mill. And not a well, really. All right. Going ahead with that. Rather than connecting the storage and the mill. And the mill is also coming along. There you go. And as we can see, now we need to connect once again the nodes then. But first, let's build a bakery. And this one here, oh, it costs me eight planks. That's quite expensive. Yeah, and six stone. And it will produce then two meals out of one water. And grain. Actually, no, wait a second. It will require two meals and one water to produce three bread. And it does cost me fish and water as maintenance. And there's the bakery coming along. And now we need to connect nodes. So this one needs now the meal from the, the mill. Actually, the mill is producing meal. That was a bit confusing to me now. Uh, but it's fine. And we're going to get this over here. We can cross these supply lines. That is good. And with that, the bakery gets now all the resources in that it needs to produce the bread. Something seems to be wrong. It looks like the bakery is not getting maintenance and can't work. To solve this problem, it is necessary to build another storage nearby. A building require maintenance can only be operated within the range of a storage. And this one here, as we can see when we hover over it, is actually without it. Oh, outside of that storage here. So let's build this another one. Here, zero building. Uh, let's just see that we overlap it. Oh, okay. Perfect location would be here. But I guess we could build it anywhere we want. But let's go ahead because it makes sense. There's some more interesting nodes now coming up than here in our missions. Also that brick mission up there. Pretty meditative to just watch combined with the music. Well, what is this? It looks like a special mission has popped up. That's the brick mission. And we need to make preparations. We need a quarry and a bakery because uh, the brick mission here requires stone and bread. So down here we have the stone. Um, if I connect it now like this, it will not be so much stone coming over, right? Because it's going to be divided now from the quarry to the storage and then to the brick. And from the bakery, also the bread over. And mine stones are now split equally between the storage and the brick missions. We don't have... Yeah, there it is. We don't have the time to wait. Disable the link between the quarry and the storage so that all mined resources are sent to the brick mission. Let's go ahead and do this. Just with a small click on it, it's gone. But we also will need to have another quarry to supply everything. But we still need more stone, of course, for production and construction. So let's go ahead and build this another quarry. And I guess we could have one here. There is stone, right? Down here. I mean, it would make... Ah, it's fine. Let's build it here. Looks like a good, a decent location. As decent as anywhere. And a bit later, there's the quarry now producing us some more stone. We need to prepare some bread and stone so that we don't have to start from scratch. <laughs> All right. Can we do this? Oh, we cannot connect it then. So we'll need to move the storage most likely a bit.
Hmm, let's wait. The game probably tells us something. Alright, after a bit of time we have collected enough resources and now we need to start with it. So we can now go to the mission. Greek mission, there it is. Ah, and this is uh, generating a whole new map for us. So a map within the map. And here we now have input of stone and bread. We do need to start with a storage once again. And we can always enter, so we now have two maps to manage. Alright, storage is coming along. There it is. Connect the storage now with the resources from the input. There you go. So stone is now coming over. And it looks like we don't have the source for planks. We need to fix this by building another sawmill. So there we got some forests. Let's go ahead and also have this one. By now we know how tier zero buildings work. There you go. By the way, from the brick mission, there it is. The stone is coming in. Bread, however, is not coming in. Meal, meal, water, water to bread. Should actually be working out. Alright, there we got that. And let's connect the lumber camp with the sawmill and the sawmill with the storage. It's a little chilly here. Let's make some clothes. Then our settlers will feel much warmer. So a sheep farm. And a sewing workshop. However, this is not on that map, I think. So we need to go back to the main map. This is a tiered 1 building now. And there we have the clothes. However, we do need some stone before we can do this. And as we, can, as we can see, the stone is coming in from outside into our storage. By just waiting a bit, we should have enough for at least the sheep farm. And definitely let's build it also a bit closer here to my storages. And here you go, sewing workshop. There we have it. It's pretty expensive. Eight planks, six stone, but we should have everything in. It needs one wool to create two clothes. So let's have it a bit closer then. Oh, wait, by the way, it does also require maintenance, which is fish and water once again. So we do have water up there. Hopefully also a well location then, so that we can connect everything then with that sewing worker. But we know we can just move things around. Uh, no worries if we, if we place it somewhere where it's not that optimal. Let's have this one for the other buildings that we need, that it would be the fishery, we would have the resources, and the well, we also would have the resources, as it just requires some planks. And they're coming in here in this in this very map anyway. There we have it, sewing workshop, wool, and clothes. With that connected, however, we once again do need to uh, work on the maintenance here. Just look at those cute ships, sheeps, <laughs> but the workers don't seem too happy because the sheep seem to have food, but they don't. We need to resort justice. Actually, the sheep farm also requires that. Alright. I don't need to connect them though, right? I just need to have these maintenance goods in the storage, so I don't need to have another node for that. So let's go ahead and just have the well then. Um, I think close to the water, but I think it's not really necessary. We could also have it here, right? Let's try this out. And for the fish, I definitely will need those some water close by. Can we also move the input here? No, unfortunately, this is not possible. There's the water. But there are no resources available for extraction in the radius. All right. We will need to move it, yep, to the water there as well. Fishery also being finished. And as we can see, yep, we do need to make sure that the lines don't overlap with other buildings. So we could have it, for example, here. Now it's working. And everything is getting over here to the storage. So they should now get their resources, their maintenance. There it is. The sheep farm has it. And the sewing workshop is still waiting on it. And the wool is now coming over to the sewing workshop and it starts producing clothes. We need to wait until we have produced 10 of that. Once again, I love how much movement there is towards the storage. Very satisfying to watch. But look at that, we are also building some, some farms here, I guess, around the sheep.
All right, 10 clothes are in. Uh, it sounds intimidating, but I've heard miners refuse to work without beer. So let's build a brewery. Farm, well, a brewery we need to build and to produce 10 beer in total then. Quite a lot of stuff now. Do we need to build it in here? I think we do need to build it in the brick mission. So there's the beer, the farm, the well, and the brewery. All right, and once again, hmm, let's just see. We'll probably make the input from the other side this time. So we do have the farm, we do have the well close to the water here once more, and then we have the brewery. This also requires them, by the way, uh, fish and water. So let's just hope that my fisher here is producing enough. Eh, we might need to upgrade that at some point. Alright, the well is working, the brewery is working, and the farm is now working. Alright, but so far the nodes are always on the on the right side of the building, the output, so I'm, I'm not entirely sure how I can do it by, with uh, rotating it to the left. So in that case we need to adjust to, to the rules, right? And we do have the well here from the well, the water now, the grain coming to the brewery, so it's waiting here now. And then we have the beer that goes down here to the storage. There it is, the farm first needs to, to build up production before it actually produces, before it can harvest anything. There it is. Rain now coming over and the brewery is working now as well. And really funny, we don't see any of that outside, right? Outside it's just this brick mission here where there might be bread coming in. I think this is actually full. Yep, the storage is full for the bakery. Might need to do something here soon. And the brick mission is not producing bricks yet, though. Where's my bricks? I think it's out here, right? Alright. Five beer we already produced. And number 10 is coming in. And with that, we have everything prepared to start the brick. Production. I really hope these guys know what they're doing. Let's excavate a clay pit and build a brick factory. There we have the clay pit. So, just as expected, close to our clay up here. And there's the output. So we probably will need to connect it then with the output. And a brick factory. Uh, yeah, I guess also close here. Let's just see how this turns out. And there it is finished, and we now need to connect it. And with that we're starting it. But the brick factory requires bread, beer and clothes. Lots of maintenance. So everything that we've built so far is now contributing to this brick factory here. It's just waiting for the clay now to come in, which also needs, oh, bread, beer, and clothes. So we do have a problem. I do need to provide bread. This is coming out from the bakery. So here we also need to connect the bread now with the storage. There it is. And now bread is coming in. It is being delivered out here, right? From the bakery. And we can also see the input storage here is full at the moment with bread because we haven't connected it yet. Now we do have that connection. And now all the maintenance goods should be in. There it is. Bread. And with that, the clay pit starts to work, producing us the clay that we need for the brick factory. I just hope that we have enough goods for all the maintenance now. A lot. One last thing remains, and that is connecting the brick with the output. There it is. And with that, we do now have a proper working brick production. That is on the inside though, we need to get outside once more. Here we have brick now, the output node, and we need to connect it with our master node. So I guess this is the master map, right? So whenever we, we say something about master, we mean the main map, and we can now connect it. And there it's coming now out. All right, we have bricks now, but there are no beer and clothes in master. We can't deliver them from the brick mission, so we have to build them here. Do you remember how it's done? And we need to start producing 10 clothes and 10 beers. I guess I can still remember. 
So I guess also all the storages are kind of like connected. I don't need to connect them directly. Uh, it's rather than just our master storage and that also um, accounts for all the buildings that are built within a storage radius. They are having the maintenance goods then delivered right away. All right, let's go ahead. Um, for uh, my new productions, we'll be on clothes. Let's start with the clothes. Uh, this one needs the sheep farm once again. So that's fish and water. Uh, we should have plenty of water in now, really. Uh, we're full actually with the water because there is another well over there delivering water just over there which we don't have any use for right there's another well here so we got three wells already um and then a fishery as well i might actually just build me a second fishery for all the increased consumption that's coming out of this so we could for example have another fishery over there and as far as i understand these nodes they're not that picky right so if i want to connect them let's just see they should be overlapping yep just fine right Getting rid of a bit of the forest here. Ah, getting rid of a bit of the forest there. So I do need to be careful after all. Produce a bit more fish. And then we have everything in for my next productions. The clothes, that's the sheep farm. So we, as long as it's built within a radius of a storage, we should be fine. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. A bit more central here, perhaps. And we can also do the other thing then right away. The sewing machine, uh, the sewing workshop. Let's also have this within the range of another storage. That's one thing, uh, we still have enough for an, a farm that requires then a well input. We do have a well over there, so we should be fine. I could also just build another well, so let's have the farm. The well and then the brewery. Let's also have this one a bit further over there. So we have a little factory district, you might call it. Very good. Sheep is producing now. And the clothes are going over to the storage and then we have the farm. That is the grain. And as we can see, we do need a special water input. There is a bit of water down here. I think we can use this. How convenient. Having the water input then right away as well. And this brings out the beer. We can connect it with the storage. Oh, why can we not do this? Because there's water in the way. We cannot get rid of the water. Let's move the sewing workshop a bit over, the brewery a bit over, and then we can make the connection. Oh, this is looking good. And the brewery has been finished as well. Producing beer. Yeah, as we can see now, resources are filling up. Oh, there's lots of water in here. As we can see, it's... Yeah, that's because it's shared, of course. Next up, we have everything we need. We can start making sausages, build the next building, but don't forget to balance that production of other chains. Uh, it does need a farm, a pig farm and a butchery, and I think we are preparing now everything for the steel mission down here. Can I build another storage? I could build another storage. That would be very nice for us, of course, right? So we could have another storage now here then, close to the, the steel mission. I would like that. We could also start another plank production close by. Yeah, but we are full with planks, so I think that's not something I need to worry about. But we have unlocked tier 2 now with that. And this is getting a bit more complicated. So these need all more uh, maintenance goods then. So we have the farm with the fish and the water. Once again, I could have it then down here. And there's the pig farm that requires bread, clothes and beer. Oh, alright. But the bread is coming in, or is the bread going out to the output mission? I think it's only going out to the output mission. So we do need to have another bread production up now as well. That would be the pig farm. Before I can do this, I really need the bread. This is maintenance then. No! Rain and water is the input, maintenance is the bread, clothes and beer. And since I don't have any bread in, we do need to make a proper production for that as well first. So there we have it. Farm, mill, bakery. The, exactly this one here a second time, really. Hmm, I don't, however, have water close by. There would be water. Let's use this one as my next bread production. We do need another well here then. Also the water. Then we can have the mill. And then the bakery. There's the green coming out. There's the meal coming out and the water. And then we have the bread. 
we have another bread production now up and running for my sausages. And then we need the piggies here, so that's the grain, which needs fish and water again, and it needs water. So we can have the... Hmm... Probably we will have it down here, right? Can we build another storage then? Put it over. There's the steel mission. So I have a feeling we need to have an input here to the steel mission soon. Another farm. Pig farm. Which needs water. Can we make that connection? Yes, we can. Very good. The pigs are coming out. The butchery. And the butchery will require bread, cloves and beer. So quite a lot of maintenance. But it's, as long as it's within the range of all the storages, we should be fine. And then we can just make the connection here. The sausages to my storage. And with that, we're starting now the sausage production. And I think all of that in preparation for the steel mill. And not a very complex logistics system. I hope you have enjoyed this uh, gameplay of... Masterplan Tycoon. If you're interested in this game, have a look at the video description, follow the link. Stay tuned!